Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Let's go ahead and get right into today's video. Be sure to subscribe to the backup channel. Links are in the description for the backup channel and the other channel. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, y'all. So first things first, okay? Doja Cat has recently been seen spotted out with her man on vacation, okay? They were in this... I guess jacuzzi hot tub shit i don't know something in the water on a boat i'm guessing and they were seen kissing and cuddling okay um now do they do they look cute together now okay so people are saying in the comments and things like that you know they're like oh my gosh doja cat what is going on with you okay doja cat is getting backlash for this because she is with a white man okay everybody is shocked that doja cat likes a white man and they're also just like questioning her you know her just interest in men in period now i'm not gonna lie to y'all okay i just feel like doja cat do give me i like white dick and that's no shade to doja cat it's fine it's fine it's fine you know but she just don't give me like she want that bbc for real you know what i'm saying i don't know and i'm not the type of person to like you know bash people for liking what they like i hey it's your world do you boo it's your world but i mean y'all be for real when has doja cat ever given the impression that she likes you know you know what I'm saying? Like, let's be friends. And there's nothing wrong with it. I'm like, I'm not up here to bash her by. So don't try to say I'm bashing her for da da da. da. I don't want to hear that. I'm just saying, okay? I'm just letting y'all know what's going on. Okay. Doja does not act like she wants a damn black man. Okay. And I'm coming, and I'm just I'm just being real. I'm just being real. Okay. How do you feel about this down below in the comment section? Do you feel like the backlash she's getting from this relationship is, you know, appropriate? Um yeah but some people just feel like he just looks a hot ass mess that's the overall conversation he looks a mess and he's white and doja cat you could do better that's what they're saying but me personally i'm all here for dating who you want to date but i just cannot see her dating a black man that's my opinion on that let's move on to this next topic uh-oh it seems like the city girls have a new hit on their hands okay um now today they released their song called pinata okay um it's recently just been released like i just said today a couple hours ago and um the song is a vibe it's a bop to me i love it okay now yesterday they released this other song called i want a thug but p diddy is not a thug okay and lil lucifer i'm sorry lil uzi vert he ain't no thug either okay one is a damn demon one is a damn creep so they not no thugs to me. I'm sorry. So I guess they put that out for the girlies, whatever, to, you know, shake the little butt to, you know, shake the little, you know. But there's this new Pinata song, I love it. It's a bop. The beat goes crazy. And I just love it. And typically, I don't like Carisha's rapping voice because she sounds like she's, like, going through something. I don't know. Like, she sounds like she's, I don't know, having some troubles over there. But um, I liked it on the song. I did like it on the song. She didn't give me, like... I'm trying to, I don't know. She Sometimes she just be sounding a hot ass mess and that's no shade at all. But, you know, JT always ate. She sounded good. Um, but I love this song. City Girls, y'all did y'all big one with this song. This song is really, really good. Um, and I need more bops like this from y'all. I need more club bangers. Y'all are, y'all are club banger type artists. We don't need you to really do too much for real, for real. Just give us some club bangers and give us some one, two, one, two. A little pop, a little left cheek, right cheek too. And we good, okay? But yeah, I really recommend y'all to tune in, tune in, tune in. I love it. Let's move on to this next topic, okay? Well, well, well. It seems like Lil Wayne, well, I can't say it seems like, but you know, the fans and some barbs are speculating that Lil Wayne has shaded Nicki Minaj in his most recent interview. Let's go ahead and get into that. All right, y'all. So Lil Wayne was asked, okay, what is his favorite song by Nicki Minaj? And then he says, my favorite song by Nicki Minaj hasn't came out yet, okay? And people are saying, oh, Wayne, you're shading her entire discography. You're being funny. You're trying to act like her past work is not good. whoop de whoop de woo But if you ask me, if your best work hasn't came out 16 years later into your career, that is a big compliment. Like, yes, we know Nicki has iconic verses and iconic, you know, songs and albums. We, Yeah, we know that. We know that. Wayne knows that. Wayne was there. You know, Wayne is in the studio when she's making music. So I'm sure he knows what the hell she has going on. But some people were just saying, oh, he's trying to be shady to her past work and discredit what she has done so far. But I can't even say that. You know, Wayne is, is, is a person who's really critical on Nicki. So... I think that Wayne, he knows that this next project is going to be amazing. Wayne knows this next album is going to have so many bops, so many iconic, more memorable moments. So he that actually made me more excited for the future with Nicki and her music. So if you think this, this was shade, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I, I just don't really think it was shade in my opinion. Like, I, I, I don't think everything is shade. Like, 16 years later and you haven't even had your best song come out. 
according to the one of the best rappers in the game, iconic. That's just my opinion on that. How do you feel about that? Let me know your opinion down below in the comment section. We can go ahead and discuss this. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Okay, let's move on. Okay. All right, child, moving on, moving on. It seems like we're getting word that Takeoff's mother is about to be suing, okay, the bowling alley for his passing, okay? Um, they're suing the bowling alley and everything for $1 million, okay? Um, they And she's saying that they should have had more tighter security. You know, you're going to have all these A-list celebrities in here. Why wasn't your security top-notch? And they're basically blaming the security of the bowling alley for this incident happening. Now, in my opinion, though... Um, do I think she's suing for the money? No, because honestly, a million dollars is not a lot when it comes to the situation. You know, it's not about the money. For her, it's more about getting justice. And that's what I feel like she's trying to do. Um, and I and I I'm all here for it. I'm all here for it. Baby, sue them. Your your, your child is no longer here no more. Your baby's gone. So if she wants to sue them, sue them. And you know what? I feel like, honestly, she gonna win that case. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She gonna win that case. Um and I feel like she has a lot of upper hand in this um, case, okay? So when she goes in the courthouse, she has a lot of things, a lot of points she could bring up to be able to win this case, okay? Um, but that's my opinion on that. Hopefully, Takeoff's mother wins this court case and she gets her justice and she gets her million dollars, even though it's deeper than the money. It's not even about the money for her. It's literally not. It's just the principle of the fact that she lost her child. Her son is no longer here. So, yes, Takeoff's mother, do what you got to do and um, wishing you the best, okay? Let's move on to this next topic. Let me know your opinions down below in the comment section. We can go ahead and discuss that, y'all. Let's move on. All right, child. Moving on, moving on, okay? The current conversation around Hallie now is whether or not she was underpaid, okay? Whether or not she was underpaid for the Little Mermaid film, okay? Heavy on the underpaid. Now, she was only paid $1.5 million, okay, for her role as Ariel, okay? $1.5 million, and the film has made 300 times that, okay? The, the film has made over $350 million, okay? Just within the first month of the film being made, okay? First month of the film being out, okay? Um, in my opinion, is $1.5 million an insult? Yeah, it's an insult. Y'all had her up here um, b balancing weights on her damn neck, okay? For this damn mermaid shit. So, y'all only gonna give her $1 million for that? I just think it's it's not right. It's not right at all. Um, I get it. Yes, she. this is her first big budget film. And, you know, yes, this is her first big major thing going on. So she's doing it more so for, like, you know, getting out there and exposure. And, you know, who wouldn't turn down a Disney deal? I get it. But only $1 million, though. And the film is making literally hundreds of millions of dollars. And the film is probably going to make even billions of dollars. Like, it just, to me, it sounds like an insult. It's just It just seems like an insult to me. I don't know. That's just how I feel. I'm not saying 1.5 million is, is not a lot of money because it is a lot of money. But in the grand big picture of everything, you're only getting 1 million, 1.5 million dollars. Hell no. No, unless she's getting royalties, it is an insult. Other than that, it's just, I, 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 uh, 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 no. Okay. That's my opinion on that. Let me know your opinion down below in the comment section. Let's move on to this next topic. Okay. Okay, wow, y'all. Beyonce is doing things she's never been doing before, all right? Now, Beyonce is out here um, handing out T-shirts, okay, to cars after her performance, all right? People are like, Beyonce is doing that? What? Now, I found this quite interesting. Now, I actually do love to see it, um, you know, but I feel like she is just really overwhelmed with the love she's been getting on tour okay because you we ain't never seen beyonce hop out in no damn hood passing out shirts like we had a damn giveaway she ain't never been doing that beyonce don't do that shit beyonce be performing all right take your broke ass the fuck home that's how she that's how she that's how she leaves the stage take your broke ass the fuck home and give me your damn money for these tickets she but but she acting different now i guess she i don't know um, but on a serious note, I do love to see it. I do love to see her appreciating her fans and appreciating what they do for her and, you know, just riding for her real hard. Hopefully she does this in the United States. OK, when she when she comes to the U.S. tour dates, she hops herself and her daughter and they both hand out T-shirts for the whole line. OK, I, I need to see that going on. I need to see every person in the audience need to have a shirt. OK, um, yeah. That's my opinion on that, okay? Let me know your opinion down below in the comment section. We can go ahead and discuss this down below in the comment section, y'all. Um, but until then, I will see you all in the next one. Be safe.